Thank you so much for joining us today. Give us your name, title, and organization. Hi, I'm Dan Michelson. I'm the CEO of Strata Decision Technology. Thank you for being here. Um, what are you most excited about in healthcare? What really uh, makes you excited about what's going on today and in the near future? Well, what I think is so fascinating is that we're literally turning the business model upside down for what is the largest industry in our economy. And it's in not just an industry, it's yeah, obviously serves a public good as well. So you take a look at what's happening and it's really, I think for our generation, for what's happening right now, it's maybe the greatest socioeconomic opportunity of our time to do good by doing good. That's um, great. There's just an amazing opportunity to make a difference on so many fronts. And I think it's disturbing to a lot of people and threatening to many, um, but I think it's exciting. And there's so much innovation happening on the fringe and, and uh, you see um, incredible things happening all over the place. That's a wonderful attitude as opposed to being against change and worrying well, there's about... Well, there's a lot to protect. I mean, we're, this sure. is a $3, three trillion dollar industry that's on its way to be a $5 trillion dollar industry by according to CMS by 2023 uh, so um, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of threat and there's a lot of protect uh, but if you look at it from a go forward perspective uh, the next 20 years of healthcare are going to be so dramatically different than the last 20 years and I think from an innovation perspective um, remains to be seen there'll be a little bit of chaos uh, but there'll be a lot of good things that come out of it what about the opposite question what keeps you up at night what do you worry about uh, well, there's there's things I worry about relative to healthcare, and there's things I worry about relative to my company. And for our, from a company perspective, um, we're all about having great people on our team, and that's really what we focus on. I think it's what any great company tries to focus on. Um, but relative to healthcare in general, um, you know, I, I worry that. Uh, that people resist the change to the extent that uh, it only serves their own purposes but not those who they're supposed to be serving. And I think that um, that's not black and white, that's really gray. And I think people are still sorting through that. So am I worried about it? No. I think this is probably the best time to be in healthcare. Um, so I think it's, um, there's always going to be roadblocks, there's always going to be kind of black holes along the way, um, but it certainly doesn't keep me up at night. It, it makes me excited. What do you enjoy most about your career and uh, your responsibilities? Uh, it's, you know, the way that we frame our, our uh, company out is that um, our, our mission is to um, drive margin to help hospitals and healthcare systems fuel their mission. Um, so we think we're part of the, um, the chain of value, you know, from that perspective. Um, that if we can help people do well, they can do well. And healthcare right now is, as we talked about, in chaos. Um, so you have roughly uh, a third of the hospitals losing money, and the average operating margin is 2.2%. And I think hospitals get too much blame. I think they're, uh, the people who work in hospitals, um, whether on the administrative or on the clinical side, are, are mostly, if not all, there for the same reason. Uh, they, they, they feel an obligation to serve. And so this is a, a, a part of our healthcare sector that needs to thrive, and we need to help them. And I think that uh, new things are coming their way. Uh, you're taking a business model and you're, and you're ripping it up, and they're gonna need a lot of help. Um, so I think the opportunity to help them um, and help them serve their community ultimately um, is, is, a, is an incredible pr privilege for us and our team. I love your philosophy. It's wonderful, a personal philosophy and an organizational yeah, or work philosophy. That's the way to be, that's the way to go. How about a bucket list item? What do you have on your bucket list? <laughs> Well, I'll give you a bucket list item I wasn't expecting. So I actually uh, visited Cuba over the weekend. Oh, really? And I uh, never thought I was going to go there. It just kind of happened on a business exchange. And we met with lots of interesting people. But just to give a perspective on healthcare, uh, we actually saw cigar rolling. And uh, cigar rollers there produce about 110 cigars a day. And uh, over the course of a month, they'll make $80. And then on Saturday night, so three nights ago, I had dinner with a neurosurgeon in Cuba, and she makes eighty dollars a month. No kidding. So if we think uh, <laughs> we have some challenges here, I think that you know everybody has challenges. It's just a question of which one. And I think uh, we have the privilege of working in an industry that has plenty of money, so there's plenty of opportunity for everybody. And now it's um, a chance to maybe th think of a better way of doing things on scale. Um, I think everyone's being forced to do that, uh, which is a good thing. And uh, so a lot of good things, uh, I think, are ahead. That's great. Yeah. It's a joy to talk to you. It was great talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.